Where'd you get the home run power, man? Man, I always had it in me, man. I keep telling you, I don't run on regular gas. This is diesel. This is diesel gas. One went almost 400 feet. That's what I do, man. They can't cheat me in Dallas. In Philly, they can cheat me. They, they cheated you out the home run? Yeah, they cheated me in Philly. I ain't going to lose out here, though. What, what's your baseball background? I played, like, I was over a home run or a strikeout guy. Okay. You know what I mean? So I, I played until about high school, until I got to high school, then I stopped to run track. But. What's up with those warm-up at bats? I was getting a little nervous that you were going to have, like, a hockey puck night. Yeah, um, I told him I had to warm up because you got to get used to, like, the environment. I can, the BP and on the field is completely different. Oh, uh, <laughs> BP and the field completely different, so I had to come out and get some warm-up hits, and it turned out to be the best decision. So have you been talking trash? You let them know that you're going to win this? Oh, yeah, I let them know before we got out here. Bruh. I went to BP, I saw their bats. I was like, man, I can't use these bats. Right. I went to Dixon and bought a five hundred dollar bat before I came out here. What? I swear to God, that's my bat. I went and bought a five hundred dollar bat just so I could hit home runs today. <laughs> you got your money's worth. I got my money's worth. worth. That's how competitive I am. I don't want to do anything to win, and because it's a call, so my five hundred dollars paid off. I think we won seven thousand in the first round. So extremely excited about it. You let anybody else use your bat? Yeah, I'm letting everybody use it. I okay. mean. Shoot, we could probably donate the bat after. Okay. Where'd you get the bat? Dicks. <laughs> is it legal? I don't know. I said, give me the most powerful bat you got. <laughs> so, you know, that's just the competitive nature of me. So. But that bat doesn't seem to be helping some of the other guys. They just don't got the technique. You know, the bat, it's like, you know, you believe a certain type of cleats is going to make you a good football player, but you got to put in the work to be good at it. So, um, you know, the equipment don't matter. It's the in Philly, was it, a, it was softball, right? Yeah. So did they mess up your swing, you know? No, nah, I told them. You know, they just cheated me, bro. They, 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 they said I was a cowboy, so I couldn't win out there. So it's whatever. We'll win on the field. But uh, out here, man, you know, I told them, I told them before this. Because they was like, no one's ever hit it out the park. I was like, bro, I just hit a softball 400 feet out the park. Like, this is going to be way easier than that. Yeah. And they didn't believe me. So I think I'm about $8,000 richer right now. <laughs> Man, I'm just having fun, man. It's truly great to be a cowboy. I'm really living a dream every day, every week. Um, Explore my opportunities and take advantage of them and the people I met and the things I got to do to just been so great to me. First time doing this, so uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm going to leave here with the trophy. You know, God willing, two more good rounds. And, uh, you know, that's that. Uh, the most fun is just I'm just connecting so well with the team and understanding every player on the team, understanding what they like to do, just really understanding what the whole teams feel like, and we're just really coming together, man. I love it. Uh, like I said, we're so far ahead than we were last year, and it's just the chemistry. We're all in there together, and we know what it takes. All right, thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Yep.